The Phoenix Conservatory of Music is on a mission to make music accessible to everyone, to change lives, and it's located in one of my favorite places, the new Metro Center. Regina Nixon is here to tell us more. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Tell us what you do. The so Phoenix Conservatory of Music is a nonprofit community school of music. We're located inside Metro Center Mall, and our whole mission is to unleash the power of music by providing high quality music education that is affordable and accessible. So we keep our costs very, very low, uh, much lower than a for profit music studio, as well as have a really robust financial aid and scholarship program. Um, people can get classes for a very minimal cost per week. And we even have a college preparatory program in affiliation with the Berkeley College of Music that is absolutely free for students to come and participate in. These students are fourth grade through 12th grade, and they get up to three to five hours a week uh, of mu music instruction, music theory, ensemble, private lessons, uh, to really help them prepare for college and be uh, able to compete for scholarships uh, so that they can go out and achieve whatever whatever it is that they want to achieve later okay. in life. Do they have to have experience? I mean, do they do only have to have a desire to learn how to what, play music? Absolutely. And, and, and what instruments? All instruments. Uh, so we do piano, guitar, voice, percussion, violin, clarinet, flute, saxophone, uh, any instrument that you can think of, trumpet. But they don't have to have a, a huge history of playing an instrument to be involved in any one of these programs. We have uh, beginning level classes that'll get kids started on uh, the right path. And then we start putting them through our college preparatory program uh, at a preparatory level. So very, very basic level things, but it teaches them collaboration. It teaches them listening. It teaches them um, how to problem solve and work together in a team. And all the way through our advanced ensemble when we get to juniors and seniors in high school. And what kind of music do they play? Well, the great thing is, is that uh, we love all kinds of music uh, at the Phoenix Conservatory of Music. But especially with our affiliation with Berklee College of Music, we like to focus on American popular music. Ah. So we hit the kids where they are. They might be learning hip hop, they might be learning pop or rock, and then we slowly introduce them to different styles of blues, jazz, um, and classical music as well. Now, do they do this in groups or is this individual? Our private lessons are individual, one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. and our group programs, uh, classes are, range no more than seven per class uh, to 12. And our ensembles, we have, I think, seven different ensembles, and they have about eight students in each of them. Oh, that, I, I bet it's great fun. I've heard, I've heard that you do great um, performances. The kids are amazing and they are incredibly, incredibly talented. And not so much just because they come to us naturally gifted, but we really have a, a very holistic approach to learning music. So when they're there learning music, they're, they're building friendships and relationships with kids who have an interest in the things that they have an interest in. They have a safe environment where they know that they can make mistakes. They feel free to explore and be creative. Uh, we help monitor grades and get them tutoring if they need tutoring. Um, we make sure that they're doing community service projects and giving their craft back to the communities that, that they live in and that they uh, are participating in. So it's, it's really um, amazing. These kids are just amazing. And, and so their energy gives amazing performances every time uh, simply because they're such deep kids. That's you know? what I hear. Yeah. I, I know the Metro um, management has told me just actually they just rave about what you do and you, the quality of the program and of the students' performance. Yes, and, and Metro Center has been amazing to give us a home. Uh, before we were at Metro Center, we were at a very tiny 1,500 square foot uh, facility. We didn't have enough space for ensembles. We only had five parking spaces and the mall reached out to us and said, we would love to bring you in and uh, help you guys out in any way that we can. So it's been a, a great symbiotic relationship. We're hoping to bring people into the mall that haven't had the opportunity to be there before and, and see what a wonderful, family-friendly, safe, fun environment that it is. Um, and at the same time, 
they're providing us with the things that we need in order to be successful to, to build our programs and serve the community in the best way possible. So how do people contact you? They can go to our website, uh, pcmrocks.org, or they can give us a call at 602-353-9900. And you did say you had scholarships. We do have scholarships, and with the scholarships, we are always looking for people to help us support those scholarships uh, through individual donations, corporate sponsorships, um, as well as uh, uh, people who want to volunteer. What, uh, what do they do if they volunteer? Well, we have music professionals, uh, music teachers, retired music teachers, people who are in college studying music that come in and volunteer to give lessons for students who can't afford to pay for lessons. Um, and we also have volunteers that we use for everything from uh, reception work and office work to more uh, skilled volunteers who are helping us develop marketing plans and fundraising plans and uh, really making sure that we're sustainable for the future. Oh, I didn't know that, so I'm so glad you mentioned that because uh, I know there are many people uh, in the area that are, are volunteers and always looking for unique possibilities, something different. And, this would be right up their alley. And so. it's such a great environment. We really try to keep everything super family friendly. Uh, we kind of think of ourselves as a community music recreation center. So when people come in, uh, the kids have a computer lab. Uh, we were just given uh, a very large grant from Thunderbridge Charities oh. for a full computer lab for the students that also includes other technology for piano, percussion. We have a student lounge where they can just sit and do homework. Um, we even have an air hockey table and a PlayStation too, so that the kids can come in and they can really uh, have a safe, fun learning environment. So do they learn music on the computers? They do. Uh, our program with Berkeley College of Music, uh, they have an online college preparatory curriculum developed um, that is free to the community for kids in the college prep program. And that stands for Pre-University Learning Systems Experience Pulse. And so Berkeley uh, actually gives us a kind of glance into what's happening at the Berkeley College of Music in Boston through this computer portal. And it is an amazing, amazing learning tool. And there's only 35 sites throughout the entire nation. We're the only site in Arizona. So uh, I always tell the kids, take advantage of this opportunity because there's only about a thousand students in the entire United States to get to work with this amazing program. Wow, I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. You are just very well connected, lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I just really, um, you know, when I was a kid, music was mandatory in school. And now it's not. And so many schools really don't have a music program anymore. And I just think it's very important uh, as you develop that you develop an appreciation of music. It does something for your soul, I think. And uh, it, it's important to the individual. It's, the arts are very important to the city. Um, we, we always talk about economic development and all of that. But the, one of the things everyone always asks us when we're out trying to uh, sell Phoenix is, what's your art community like? Uh, because it's very important to bring companies here. It's, and so you not only are doing a great job with our young people, and, but you are really helping our whole community. Arts, I think, play a very vital role in establishing not just uh, economic stimulus for a community, but to bring a community together in a rallying point. And, uh, for a lot of our students and our families who otherwise won't have opportunities, programs like mine, programs like the other amazing organizations that are out there are vital to the health of our community. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I thank you very, very much for what you're doing. And um, I hope that the next time you have a performance, you will notify us. I'd like to publicize it and I'd also like to attend. Absolutely. So our next big uh, event that we have coming up is April 27th uh -huh. and that is our Berkeley uh, Benefit concert this year. We have uh, one full-time applicant uh, that has already been accepted into the Berkeley College of Music. He is a senior through the program and he is going to find out if he is receiving a scholarship oh, wow. uh, for that uh, on April 27th. Where? And we 
uh, we're still locking down a venue. Okay. Um, but we'll have it posted on the website, and okay. we'll make sure to get you the information. Great, because I love to distribute it so that Excellent. everybody can come, or um, if they can't come, maybe they can send you a little donation, or I'm sure there are many families out there that would like to have their kids partake and learn music. Uh, it's good for all of us. And we welcome them all. We welcome them all. So, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have for this month's On the Issues. If you have questions or comments about the show, call my office or visit my website at phoenix.gov slash district1. We'll see you next time on the Issues. Thank you.